welcome back to the third tutorial of subway surfer series last time we discussed how to make a collision detector now today i am going to use collision detector for detecting the direction of collision and play stumble or death animation according to the direction if you not subscribe my channel so first of all hit the red button and turn the notification bell on for new video In my last tutorial, I am set the animation setting like this, but today I am going to make some change here, getting a substrate machine and create a new substrate machine and changing its name to jump stair. Now we need to do copy these jumps animation and paste it into jump state and make the transition landing to exit. So now create another sub machine for stumble name stumble and i'm dragging the all stumble animation in this substrate machine after adding the all stumble animation we need to make a transaction to exit which connect these animation to by default animation which i'm set the run animation so now create another substrate machine and name the death and drag all death animation into the state so first death balance and other moving train so similar make the transaction to exit after setting this go to video studio for changing the character script here i'm create three hit type up mid down and hit y so i'm adding one other hit type and copy this and paste here low hit low and set the hit low value under 0.17 I make this hit type for low stumble so now go to on character collider function and if hit z equal to hit z dot forward it is if we hit from forward and hit x equal to mid then we need to play this death animation so first if hit y equal to hit y dot low low and down mid and upper so create all state now if hit low then we need to play m animator and stumble low animation which i am set in stumble sub machine state now for down we need to play death lower and for mid mid and up first we check to need if collider tag equal to moving train then we need to play moving death moving train animation last if collider to tag not equal to ramp we need to ignore ramp collision because it have slope so set moving train death animation and death bounce and set death upper animation for hit up dot y check it if we not enroll if this condition not true so set last if hit z hit z equal to is hit set hit z and equal to hit z dot mid it's a mid for hitting with the ground and if hit x equal to hit x dot right then we need to play right collision and if hit we from left and many method we need to play stumble side right and for hit x dot left we need to similar animation for left if this condition not true now we set in last animation for if hit x dot right then we need to play stumble corner right animation and for left so now go back to unity editor now if we play and set here is a forward speed so first check lock it and now we going to check collision animation which we set here so if we drag the box to front and hit from front it's playing a death bounce animation and now if we as you can see if we drag up and it's playing the upper animation and similar if we move it to right side is playing the light corner animation and if we drag to left side 
displaying the left corner animation. And now if we hit the attack from left side of player, it's playing the chain track animation similar from right side. If hit collision on Y axis low, then it's play stumble animation. In character skip, I set the side left value minus 2, mid 0 and right 2. So if we need to change this, remove here new X value and set private side last side. So now remove this line from here and set the last side equal to M side and here last side and similar here and here. So now here a new expose change integer M side. It returned to integer value according to side. So now remove this line and here I'm setting the M side equal to last side when we collide from left or right. Now set here another condition for playing the animation of left of hit. Now copy this last side equal to M side and change this number of left play animation here and similar for swipe right Let's just change the animation name now we are creating another private for function for reset in collision it's hit x equal to hit x or none and hit y equal to none similar for hit z now we need to print the result in debug so set hit x plus hit y plus z and change the position to up and now get their string value this function for resetting the collision after playing animation so set so set this function after every death or stumble animation so it's necessary for resetting the collision now if we play so first set the forward speed to I'm um, setting 10f now if we hit it's turning the value of mid mid forward something missing we need to set tag so exit from play mode and I'm selecting this first train and adding the tag of moving train now other ramp I'm set their tag already ramp so now if we play and hit the first set forward speed and hit with train it's playing the moving train animation but you notice that plane not died so for setting this we need to go back to again visual studio and you also notice that if we stumble from any side it's again again stumble like uh, this if we hit from left off it's again again hitting so setting this we need to first change the animation setting I'm set here you can see my UL animation setting for stumble low we need to change it to from loop to simple one time play and for stumble fall and you can see all setting for death back into poles X and Y so now go back to Visual Studio and set here another function for playing animation and string any for name of which animation we need to play and now I am going to play all the animation through this function so if change this M animator dot play to play animation now find this all animation in script and change with play animation now create public boss stop all state variable and set its value to false if all state false then we need to no animation play copy this function and paste here change the name to stumble remove this and set the stop all state value equal to true now set m animator dot for state normalize time to zero and so set if m animator dot get current animator set get current animator state info and layer is zero now it's normalized time greater than one f then we need to false our stop our state value and set if m side is not equal to last side this for we need to play one time this off right animation and similar for off left so now create another public float stumble tolerance variable and set its tolerance to 10f 
Now create another private float stumble time and set stumble time value equal to math f dot move toward from stumble time to stumble tolerance value and with the time dot delta time speed and set if stumble tor time less than the stumble tolerance half of the stumble tolerance then we need to play death animation so I create function for playing the death animation and if death so play death player and play the stumble low animation no and return for if we death alas we need to decrease the some tolerance from stumble time and set reset collision and now we need to place the stumble function where we playing the stumble animation so change only m animator dot play to stumble and place all where we only play stumble animation so now we need to just move this reset collision and set stop all state to true for death and i'm creating the core time for death and set the weights for second to 0.2 f and now we need to play and create a ball variable input can input and set it value to true and multiply with these inputs if can input true then this input work for set can input to false this for stopping all inputs so they're missing something we need to set stumble timer to equal to stumble torrents and now we need to play this start core time function and place this function where we play death animation so start core time here and here and remove this for so the animation now if can input value false so we need to return from update function and only playing adding the force downward gravity which is setting 10f so now create public collider of collision which we use for detecting the collision in children object and we need to set is trigger not equal to can input value so now place collider of collision and here the animator controller we need to some change of animation here so i'm set the setting of jump state and stumble we need to transaction back to run animation which is from exit and now for death we need to remove this transaction because we know after reading play run animation so now go and play here start with death because it hit so now if we hit any place if we hit from right two time it's death now true can input and now we check again here's a problem in stumble corner animations for setting this we need to create another layer animation naming a stumble and now we need to create a weight mask i'm setting the name upper body i need to get from upper part of the player so i'm getting the up setting the upper part true and now we need to set the weight mask in second layer and weight to zero so now copy this function of stumble corner and paste it into second layer paste stumble cone left and right now go to video studio and set m animator to set layer weight one to one and here after transaction we need to fast and death for death we need to also fast this layer so now go and play so thanks for watching my video and i hope you like it.